Alright, welcome back to Project Zomboid everyone. Last time we arrived at our new base and we stopped here. Um, today we're gonna try to go loot some gun ammo and try to kill some zombies with guns. Uh, first I'm gonna remove this curtain. Because this house has like this window here, I'm gonna add shit here instead of the bathroom. Since we can we can keep the we can keep the bathroom door closed, and there is this uh, little house here that we need to loot. But before that, we're gonna sleep a little bit because we're super tired right now, and we're gonna resume our activities after sleeping. We learn sleeping to sleep. Okay. To sleep, yes, that's good. Slept for seven hours, although she was extremely tired. That's uh, some pretty good efficiency right there, I have to say. Let's see, is there any zombie in here? Nope, there's no zombie. Ranch gardening, so that's useless. Wooden mullet. Mm -hmm. the sports. We'll, yeah, nothing good in here, and but there's no zombie neither, so this area is completely cleared now. We are completely safe in this area, and uh, what we're going to do now, before we move out, we need to arrange all those stuffs, and what we're gonna do with them is we're gonna just put them on the ground for now, and we're gonna go find some crates to put them in. So we have uh, one shovel, I think this should be enough because we're not gonna have much fighting to go find the crate, I'm gonna accelerate this to drop them on the ground and uh, oh yeah there's a generator here I take it and uh, place it here, drop generator. good all right so <laughs> to get those crates we can either get the planks or the crates themselves um, we're gonna go with the second option because that's gonna be easier since there are warehouses around us there's the warehouse that we passed by yesterday we can go back there and get the crates but we are actually going to a different warehouse because um, then that we might as well we might as well since we can find some new loot over there and that's a very empty space, empty place as well, devoid of zombies. So I mean empty, by empty I mean free place, devoid of zombies. So it's this way, you gotta turn this way and turn left of the next crossroad and that gets us to the warehouse. So you can notice that when I'm driving I can see far ahead of me so I can react when Thing like this happens and you press spacebar to break and the reason why I can see so far ahead is because I changed the option I'm gonna show you after killing the zombies and after looting those zombies actually I'm gonna show you now so in the option in display, there's a pan camera somewhere. Okay, this one, but pan camera while driving. You want to, you want it to be checked, and then you can see ahead of you when you're driving. There's a few other options that are useful in this. There's uh, this one, the aim outline. You can change to any weapon. I think the default is ranged weapon or known. You can change to any weapon, and you can see a green outline when you're attacking zombies to see which one you're targeting, which is very useful. And on the accessibility, yeah, there's this uh, resume normal speed when time action complete. It's, a, it's a turned off as default, but you can turn it on. And when you're doing some timed action, which means uh, you're, mm, you know, like pretty much any action. And when it completes and you accelerate the time, when it completes it automatically returns to the normal time so you don't waste any time. Um, the police zombies has so much stuff. 
nice dig. I'm gonna actually take those revolvers. This one looks like it has a lot of durability. Can I can I repair it with a? Uh, is the one on the ground? No, I can't. I'm gonna just take it here and then repair it. Repair. Aiming. I need level three in aiming to repair this, so I cannot repair this. But I I can just take it for now. Um, I am going to take a shotgun as well. If it has high durability, which is not the case, I'm not gonna take it. Those cars are going crazy. So I'm gonna turn that off. Mm, Louisville map. What do you have in here? Oh, nice. M788 rifle. It is for durability. It doesn't have a magazine. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this because why not? Um remove insert magazine the first aid kit okay what about you do you have anything good here Muldrow we already have the map and we stop this one duct tape Shell bandolier. Bullet bandolier. Hmm. Okay. And we're gonna put all of those in this one. We're gonna throw away the stale food. Desert eagle. Rifle, okay. Fifty present. That's good. We can get the fresh pair. All right, so we continue with our journey. I could have, uh, I could have actually removed those cars. I think I should actually remove those cars, but I didn't bring my gas can, so I cannot exactly do that right now. Yeah, it's better to remove those car because we're gonna be using this um, this route multiple times, and each time we go here, we pass by here, we are going to have to stop there or like use brake to avoid them. And this one as well, like it's better to remove them, but I don't have the um, my gas can right now, so I cannot do that. That's what they have though. garbage bag I can take a garbage bag we're gonna we, since we have a base now we can build um, rain collector barrel and that requires requires some garbage bags oh we got the jack nice now we can take off the um, wheels from our car and replace them if we want to or if we find some good ones for now there's no reason to we, we want to kind of get a new window because we broke it last time when we tried to get this car. Uh, there's an ambulance. Contrary to the, um, to the last car, this, this car reg is not like really worth it to remove them because we are not gonna go through this area twice. So it's fine to leave them like this and just walk around, but we're just gonna loot this one. A oh, twine battery. Uh, empty gas can. Yeah, I'll take it actually. From my bag, nothing good inside. A sack. I'll take a sack. Yeah, since, since we have a base, you can see that I can take a lot more stuff now. It's pretty convenient. I'm gonna add this to my collection of keys. See if there's any gasoline. 
no gasoline in there. Okay, since we have um, we have a gas can now, we can remove those cars from the road on our way back. But we're not gonna remove those because we are only using this way once and our returns twice total, and it's not worth it to just remove them. Um, so there's a warehouse this way. And there's also a farmhouse if we go left from here, which you can use as a base location potentially, but I'm not gonna use that one because um, it's just... It's just like too far away from the main road. Like you gotta go in, go along road, door... <coughs> okay, so you gotta go like this way. And if you get out of this, if you wanna get out of this house, you gotta go all the way like this. It's like too long to get out, so it, like the accessibility is not great. So that's why I'm use I'm not using that house as a base. Um, I wanna smack this window. See if there's any gasoline. Nope. A tire pump, though. I can use this one. Wine. There's no gasoline. I think I just smash one left because I don't care about this car. Empty gas can, twine, and another garbage bag. So the twines are used to make bird traps. The traps to catch birds. It's like it's actually stick traps, but. I call them bird trap because they are used to catch birds. And we're gonna make them when we go back to our base to set it up. So you will be seeing that pretty soon. Um, I throw this away. I'm gonna clear this warehouse. There should be like a few zombies. If there's any. this yes I'm fine let's see empty watering can gardening fork yeah this is a good one so last time I mentioned that um, the spears can kill a bunch of those uh, special zombies that has the high HP that regenerates themselves because the spear can one shot and gardening fork is a spear so this is a weapon that can kill those zombies when there are like 10 of them and gardening fork is also a great weapon um, overall without that perk so I'm gonna put them in here save them here I'm gonna put the jack and the tire pump as well uh, I'm gonna keep the gas can with us this area has no zombie at all nice another shovel I could take an imitation flamingo for decoration. Trouble, I can take it, but like I have shovels. I have like a lot of shovels and gardening hose anyway, so I'm not gonna need it. Uh, should I take it just in case? No, I'm not gonna take it. I can level my carpentry a little bit by dismantling those stuffs. Um, I guess I'll do that. Let's uh, dismantle those uh, tables because we need level level six carpentry in order to what's the name to build a stair and the stairs are used to make safe spots. Well, you you also need what you also need what's the name the sledgehammer to make a safe spot. So we cannot make one yet. So, but it's better to like walk walk towards it whenever we can. So we got some XP here and we're gonna take those crates. Before taking the crates we gotta take off the contents and being dexterous is very useful here because um, you take them off faster and then you can pick up those crates like this. You break like uh, half of them while picking them up because my carpentry level is low but that's okay. Oh yeah, as you see here, there's 
The sack of potato is fresh while everything else is rotten. This is why potato is great because they last for a long time. So when you go on a journey, you can just harvest like some potatoes from the base and then go on a journey with them. And they're gonna just last for a long time. Potato has a few disadvantages though. Uh, one of them being the fact that you only have like around two days to harvest when they bear fruit before rotting. So you gotta be there to harvest when the crop bears fruit. And the other disadvantage is the fact that um, I'm gonna put those here. Yeah, the other advantage is the fact that the potatoes barely give any calorie. So if you're trying to gain weight or avoid losing weight, then the potato is not gonna be a great option for that purpose. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna dismantle those tables. And uh, pick up the crates after dismantling those. So you can see that after the action finishes, the time returns to the normal rate. So I am accelerating time when I'm doing this, and it returns to normal when it finishes dismantling. So I don't lose any time from it staying at like three times the speed. I think it's more than three times the speed. The fastest. I don't know what how fast it is, but it's pretty fast. Okay, same goes this one, the time returns. So yeah, that's a good option to have. Uh, how many? You're breaking everything, come on. What's the chance of breaking it? I don't think it's that high, but it's just breaking literally every everything, let's see. 37% chance of breaking and it's breaking everything. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. That's perfectly reasonable. I'm gonna pick up some of the planks. And bring them to my car. Put in the crate first. And then the plants later. Okay. Then we repeat this process. You can get like all the carpenter, carpenter levels from dismantling those crates to be honest. It will take longer than normal because you have to take up all the contents from the, from the crates first. And uh, also dismantling those crates doesn't give the most amount of XP for carpentry. But you still you can still like pretty easily level here if you want to. Like the time in project zomboid is not that important factor. Since um yeah. Okay, how many... So this one's full, I can put in another plank and then we can put it here. How many can I put here? Three and then one of this here. And then we're gonna fill our own inventory as well before we leave this place. To make sure that we can carry, we are carrying the maximum as much as we can. Okay. Okay, so I think this is the highest amount we can carry here. Um, we could be carrying more like plank, but whatever, it's fine. We don't need to be like to be at the maximum capacity. So now we're gonna go back. Mm, I actually. Can I put this? 
I want to remove the cars on our way back because we got a we got a gas can, but we are at 47 weight now, so we probably cannot do that anymore. Let's try and see if we can. Wait a second, did I just crash into that one? I didn't see that. Oh man, that's, that's pretty bad for our hood. Yeah, so crashing onto those, not only it decreases my health, and it has a chance of, a chance of giving me a fracture, a bone fracture if I go too fast. I have never gotten that before, but apparently that's really, really difficult to heal, so you don't want to get that. Um, and um, the bad part also is that it damages my hood on my car. And when my hood's durability reaches zero, it starts it starts damaging my engine instead. And when my engine is dead, then my car doesn't work anymore. So that's something you want to avoid. And this is the reason why you want to have your hood up and have to avoid damaging it as much as possible. So you, you need to stop crashing onto the trees like that. You need to stop crashing onto the zombies as well. Because you, if you drive into zombies too fast, then you're going to damage your hood. Where did my gas can go? I think it's in here. I'm gonna see from the gasoline here. Add gasoline. This is how you remove. You can also like pull it with my car. You can tow it with with the car, but I prefer doing it this way. I just hotwire this car. You press V to hotwire to open the hotwire the car menu and then hotwire, and then you move it. Let's see from the cast gasoline again and just do this for all the cars that you want to remove from the road okay Let's see. There were two more police cars here that I'm gonna remove. Then I can drive straight back to my home to put down all the crates and organize my stuffs. God, this is so bad. What am I doing? <sighs> what am I doing? I don't even know anymore at this point. By the way, this car already has some gases. It also has gases. I guess it's normal because the siren was working when we first came here, right? So I guess that's to be expected that they had, they had gasolines in them. I guess I can take the gasolines. Um, I'm actually not gonna do that. Oh wait, do I do that? I don't know. How much gasoline do we have? This one's empty now. I think this one's empty too. Wait. No, this one that one's not empty. Um And this car is full. No not full yet. So as you can see, I'm being I'm extremely heavy load with 48 out of 8, and my HP went down to until here, and I got a bone fracture, a discomfort, no, not a bone fracture, just discomfort. But um, the HP doesn't go down anymore after that, so you don't have to worry about dying from being extremely heavily loaded. You can just stay like this forever, and you know you're not gonna die. It's just like hinders your combat capability, so you don't want to be fighting zombies in this state, and that's pretty much it. 
and I want to remove this car as well but I think this is a car wreck and I need uh, propane torch and wilder mask to remove it and I don't think I have a wilder mask right now so I cannot do that unfortunately and uh, I'm gonna see from gasoline from this one I'm gonna put it in here and drop all the crates okay we're gonna drop all the crates we brought why I put this one here so I'm gonna make the traps so this one you can make sturdy trick sturdy trap I can make two sturdy sticks one plank makes eight sturdy sticks and with two sturdy sticks I can make stick traps it requires four sturdy sticks and twine and the twine can be used to make four sturdy sticks one at um maximum but this twine was not full so it only made three so I got four stick traps that I'm gonna place it around here wait a second why, why did it drop like that where did they go so those are the st stick traps uh, stick traps hmm. Hmm. wait a second that's not that's not how you do it how do I do it? Um, can I can I place a trap? I cannot place a trap. Why can I not place a trap? I'm not sure what's happening right now. I'm gonna just put the planks here. Down the crates. In the plank here. And uh, I'm gonna organize all this um, stops here. I'm gonna... Okay, you can click on the category. So you can have all the skill books together here. I'm gonna pick up all those skill books. And put them in one box together. Okay, that's a lot of books. So now my collection of books is here. Wait a second, that didn't work. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take note of which books I need. So Carpentry 5, let me see, let me take note. So I need carpentry 5, cooking I have everything, electrician I have everything, farming I have everything, first aid 3 and 5, fishing 4, foraging 5, mechanic 2, 4, 5, I don't have mechanic 2 which is kind of annoying, metalworking 4, tailoring 4, and trapping 4, okay this is what I need. And I'm gonna pick up all those tools here. Um, there's no shovel. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the bottles, the nice sticks as well. And I'm gonna put them here in this crate. This one's gonna be the long blunt crate where I put all the long blunt weapons. There's no shovel. This one's gonna be the short blunt crate where I put all the short blunt weapons. This one's gonna be the axe crate where I put all the axes inside. Um, I'm gonna leave the propane torch 
here and I'm gonna actually see even more gasoline I'm gonna I'm gonna refill my stock of Molotov cocktails because I used already I used in the uh, in the previous fight so I'm gonna see from gasoline I'm gonna get some ripped clothing from this zombie here I got three ripped shit and now I can make the Molotov cocktails I can make two of them throw away the ripped shit I put one of them in my bag I'm gonna put the rest of the gasoline inside this one The rest here. Okay. All right. What do we have left? I'm gonna loot everything and just to sort them inside. Okay. So this one's the book. I'm gonna make this one the car maintenance stuffs. Actually, I'm gonna go by order here. Um, the rounds. I'm gonna make this one handgun. Handgun rounds. This one's the shotgun. This one's the rifles. So the yellow rounds are the rifles. Um, true dancing goes with the books. I'm gonna put battery with the maintenance stuffs. This one I'm gonna make medical supplies. I think I need to bring around the surgeon needle and tweezers. So I'm gonna just put those two in and this, I'm gonna make this one food. Shovel, adhesive tape. So the tapes. I'm gonna make mm, this one have tapes, all the repair materials and nails. Uh, I I would I rather carry around some of the nails with me. And uh, this is the repair material. I'm gonna also put the propane torch, the little wrench. I we have the jack now, so. We can carry them around, but I don't think we're gonna need it in the immediate future. Actually, actually, I'm gonna carry this one. And inside the food here, I'm gonna put the butter, chocolates, chip. And uh, what else do you have? Okay, so I'm gonna put those three inside this here. Shovel we're gonna bring around with with us. Nail here. The propane torch should go here. Wrench. Empty gas can. Hunting knife. Hammer. And the uh, red dot. With the right, with the handguns here, right? That's the handgun. Battery. So what else do you have? A gardening fork. We have three shovels. Twines. Tire pump. Nice stick. We have two gas cans. I didn't know we had two. I guess we can bring it with us. Okay, so here the um, car materials. We are gonna put tire pump and gas can. I'm gonna put twine here as well because actually. Yeah. I'm gonna make this one gardening as well at the same time as uh, the other. So I put this one here. Repair materials. Sharp blunt. The garden fork, I'm gonna put it here in a new location. And the sag is farming tool. Garbage bag, we drop it here on the ground. And the handgun round. Okay, so we managed to sort everything. We have to, we're gonna sit, plant those seeds here so we can dig furrow it's gonna dig a furrow with my shovel shovel it has like a lot of uh, uses it's great and uh four is usually enough for like one kind of thing so i'm gonna 
do this and plant potato here and plant radish on the other one you honestly don't even need to plant the radish radish is like kind of like you can use it for cooking it doesn't really give anything special but i'm gonna plant them anyway uh i need six per thing so i can plant 12 more i'm gonna plant i'm gonna dig 12 furrows and plant a lot of radishes the reason why i'm doing this is because when I harvest those radishes, it's gonna give me a lot of uh, free farming XP. And the wild like leveling farming up is like kind of useless. Like it's like <laughs> free XP, so why not? It's, it feels nice to level up your farming for that much efforts. And um, the best way, some people say that the farming takes a lot of efforts, but actually it's because um, the farming actually doesn't take much effort at all. Once you plant them. You just leave them alone. The reason why it takes lots of effort for some people is because they try to water them and fertilize them and um, try to cure the diseases. You don't need to care about any of them, you just leave them alone and just let the crop grow from the rainwater and that's all you do. You just plant them and then let them grow. That's why the farming doesn't take much effort. And why am I unable to- oh yeah you place trap like this, okay. So that's why the farming doesn't take much effort. So now you're done with farming and you just come back like later on to pick up the harvest. Add bait. Okay. So the stick trap takes like worms, insects and stuff like that as bait. So which is why it's perfect when you dig 4-0, you make the stick trap because you get worms from digging 4-0. Then you make stick trap and put the worms on the furrow and put the worm next to it to like when you <laughs> when you need to put them again. And this is perfect, you know? You get some meat. Uh, since we're tired, we're gonna sleep. We're gonna get ready to depart tomorrow right away. Um, where we're gonna go is the military surplus store. And uh, we need to have as much empty space as possible on, a, on our car because we're gonna have to carry a lot of stuffs. So we're gonna try to work on that. Um, we can take Jack and Wrench. I wanna also go to the gas station. So I would like to carry my empty gas can. And I also want to have my Jack and Wrench in case there's... In case there's a nice tire in the car repair shop next to it. And where's my lug wrench though? I don't know where's my lug wrench. Oh, it's here. So I think this is the minimum we're gonna bring. I think we're gonna bring one more weapon though. We have three shovels. I'm gonna bring one crowbar just in case. And we have like what, around 100 space and that should be the most we can get here. And hopefully that's gonna be enough to carry the stops from our looting, our looting place. We placed the flamingo here. I'd like to get um get a rain collector barrel, but we don't have enough of those uh, garbage cans yet, so we cannot do that. Um, we're gonna fill the water bottle and sleep, and then head out after that. I like how she has a lying animation now. <laughs> It's so dirty. I need to wash myself. Right, let's go. Um, I need to check real quick my car's condition while also dropping all the stuffs on the ground. So I'm gonna just drop them on the ground. So how is my car do car doing right now? It has fifty percent hood. 61% trunk That's fine, 50% hood is reasonable I, uh, The place I'm going is not that populated with zombies so I should be fine But I also do want to like start repairing my car pretty soon Which should be happening once I get my metal working level 3 But we need the welding mask to level up our metal working so it's not happening until I get a welding mask um, So we gotta be careful with our hood with damaging our hood, we, we need to like not, <laughs> not crush against trees like we did just now. And for that purpose, 
you wanna be driving slowly. You don't wanna be pressing W all the time. Yeah, usually drive, pressing W all the time to move forward, keep accelerating is like the habit on racing games and other driving games. But here in Project Zomboid, you don't wanna do that. You wanna be driving slowly. There are lots of benefits from driving slowly. Um, not only it avoids you from crashing against other cars or other trees, it also avoids you from crashing against zombies. And when you drive slowly and run over zombies, it takes the hood takes less damage. I heard that um, the hood doesn't take any damage at all if you're driving at less than 10 mph. Right now I am 20, so I'm gonna take a little bit of damage from there, but not that much because I'm not that fast right now. And uh, also, if you're driving too fast, I think that consumes more fuel if you are just like constantly pressing W. So you save on fuel, you save on your hood, and there's all the reasons for driving slowly in this game. So this place has a fair bit of zombies, but it should not be enough to completely block our path, and we should be able to reach our destination without having to go through what we did yesterday. Um, I say we should, but shit can still happen, so we need to be always careful to drop off the car if the situation goes wrong. Yeah, we're fine. We're gonna avoid zombies as much as possible with our driving technique here. So the military surplus store we are heading to has a lot of guns. We emptied our car because we are gonna be filled with guns when we return. And um, it is a relatable. It it's like I really love to go there right after I leave Rosewood because it is a relatively less populated area. It's probably one of the least populated areas on the list, like among those that has uh, good loot and that, that are not completely devoid of zombies. Um, this area as well is like really less populated area, but like it's 16 times run, so there's still a fair amount of zombies. The fact that I can just pass without having to kill all the zombies means that it's less populated area in 16 times at this point. So, yeah, this place. And yeah, military surplus store, the only problem is its accessibility. It's very far away, but that problem is solved as long as you have a car. So since, since you managed to get a car, if you manage to get a car, then it's a really good idea to go there to get a bunch of firearms. I said before that firearms are less efficient in 16, 16 times run because um, they're mostly limited by ammo. Like shotgun is like probably the highest DPS weapon in this game. But the problem with shotgun is that you only have so many ammo. And in 16 times zombie population, if you have like 10 times more zombies, then the ammo strain 10 times quickly, right? Or you can clear 10 times less areas. And yeah, that's the problem pretty much like wait. Okay. We're fine. We can break through a thin area, a thin layer of zombies like that. <laughs> That's fine. And when you're breaking through a thin area of zombies like that, um, you wanna be driving slowly to avoid damaging your hood. So yeah, we gotta be probably should be driving more slowly than right now. Okay, so let's see. I my weapon, my shovel. Oh, 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 oh. My shovel has almost no durability left, so I'm gonna need to take another shovel on my trunk when you drop down. Our hunting knife is almost dead as well, but we do have another hunting knife on us, so that's fine. Okay. Normally this area at um, the area around the military surplus store we should be able to drop from the car and kill the following zombies. Maybe, perhaps, maybe not. We'll see. We 
is so already less populated than before. And, uh, not really. Yeah, like, less than 10 MPH, you take no damage to the hood, but also if you're driving too slowly, the problem is that you're gonna take longer time to break through the layer of zombies, and that means that you have the other zombies have more time to arrive to surround you, so you still want to drive at a reasonable speed to break through all of them, and like you, you're gonna take like a few damage on the hood, but that's not that big of a deal. Since you can repair, well, I cannot repair yet, but I will be able to repair soon, so that's not a huge issue. And even if I don't, I cannot get the repair done like soon enough, like I can just get another car, you know? So, like, since I have my hot water and going, anytime I see a car that I like, I can just take it. So, damaging the hood a little bit is not an issue unless I reach zero. I just need to avoid reaching zero and it's fine. I think we are almost there at our destination though. Uh, it should be here. <laughs> well, I tried to pass in between, but that didn't work out. Oh man, what is this? Yeah, this is this is the area. So I need to. Ah, there are so many of them. It's annoying. I I need to drop down here, and I need to pick up a shovel from this trunk, which I can't. Um, so that's bad. I think, yeah, then I don't have enough durability on my shovel to kill them all, so that's annoying. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same as the, um, as the fire station. I'm gonna just, um, gather the zombies and lose them somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna gather those as well, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose them here and come back to kill them. I'm, I'm just gonna end up killing all of them, but I'm gonna just make sure that I can take them in smaller groups instead of uh, all of them at the ones because this is too many for me to take on in my current state so I make sure to just uh, walk to save stamina because I'm gonna have to fight after losing them I think actually I can take the shovel now this is the advantage of being dexterous because you take it pretty quickly so I got my shovel, I'm gonna lose them, then kill them. Come here guys. So in order to lose them, I'm gonna just go this way. I'm gonna run this way. And just go here. And what the zombie's gonna do? They don't know where I am anymore. Look at them. Look at those stupid zombies. They're funny. They're funny. And I can kill them here. Oh, I'm gonna take a beta blocker. I don't need to be stingy on those beta blockers. I can just take them. Because this this one's a pharmacy here. So I'm gonna get a fair amount of stocks again. And as time passes, I'm gonna be able to kill more and more zombies, and they're gonna throw more bit up blockers because I kill more of them. And yeah, I'm eventually gonna get all the bit up blockers I want. The word. So that's why I didn't take the brave in the beginning because I don't exactly need any panic-related stuff. Uh, the my knife got stuck. Wait, this knife is also almost dead. Hmm. Gotta bear in mind that my shovel is dying pretty soon, so when that happens, I gotta be careful.
I would like to have another short blade weapon because the hunting knife is dying. And uh What is the thing that he has? It's a nice stick. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one. It's a temporary tool. A beta blocker. See there they draw from the zombies. So this place, this little shed here, it can have tools, so I can loot it. Loot this one. And uh, I'm gonna clear out this uh, area a little bit before doing that. From you guys nope I'm gonna rest here while we can oh uh, propane torch bags of nail some somebody said you can never have too many bags of boxes of nails well I think you can have too many boxes of nails breaking this hunting knife. You can feed in like attack on the ground in between the stagger on the zombie standing by pressing alt. It's pretty useful because the, the, those crawling zombies you can just kill them and they won't be annoying anymore. This zombie has a metal bar in his bag. Oh, it has a shock to the show. Nice. of hunting knives with a shotgun shell though and we're gonna be mainly using our nice stick as a sub weapon facility if there's any chair inside so I can rest while killing all those zombies around because there's still quite a lot
there's a chair over there which I can use. Yeah, I guess I can use that chair instead. I need to rest once. Where can I rest? Underground. is a good option make sure that there's nothing coming to us there's it's dangerous to loot while resting on the ground like this because if you if a zombie approaches you from behind even with keen hearing I'm not gonna take too long to get up to avoid it uh, to run away from it before it gets me but this is fine. That's why that's why like you need to be looking around in 360 degrees whenever you rest in the ground like this. Because some zombie might be approaching you from behind. to straight up shout I don't know how many that's gonna aggro I think I think I can I think I can I think I can mm-hmm yeah this, this, uh, this is not a big amount had a large amount of zombies. Wait, did I interrupt my uh, beta blocker taking? Yeah, I'm panicked, so my like crit rate is. is my melee damage is decreased, my combat abilities are hampered. I think it's the shouting that's making all the zombies come out, but that's good because the zombies that are inside, I'd much rather fight them outside. Like, I prefer that they come outside to fight me rather than I meet them inside a building. So, shouting there was a good choice. Like, all the zombies coming out, that's the good stuff. Can I kill them as well? That was like unnecessarily dangerous. So I can sit here and rest a little bit. I'm gonna eat some of the potatoes. a clothing shop so yeah there's lots of clothing but nothing else I'm gonna loot those two buildings because they're pro there are restaurants and they will probably have meat cleavers which I'm gonna use instead of the nice stick as a side weapon because, because I am uh, I have like I have like talent in short blade and no talent in short blunt so it's better for me to use the meat cleaver to increase my proficiency level rather than using this nice stick. This nice stick is still pretty decent though. 
good. This is not ideal. Um, I think Nice Stick is like the best short blunt weapon. Honestly. Probably. Maybe like the metal bars are like stronger in terms of uh, strength, but Nice Stick is like one handed weapon. Actually, it's not one handed. It, it goes on the belt, belt slot. And the fact that it goes on the belt slot is really convenient. If there's any zombie who come to me when I shout, nope, there's no zombie. All the zombies around are dead. That's perfect. I'm gonna still take a stroll around. Yeah, like when, when you turn around the corner, those things are pretty dangerous. But I, this is fine because I was running, you know. So when I'm running, they cannot really like catch me and bite me. And even if I run into them, I'm gonna just bump them. I do have a chance of uh, falling when I bump into them, but like I was I was running in this direction, so I was not really gonna bump into them neither. And uh, when I just run into one zombie, I honestly don't really fall most of the time, so that's pretty safe. The reason why I took on this group is because I wanted the garbage can, the trash cans. The trash can, the garbage bags. And my weapon is gone. I don't want to spend too much of my shovel durability. What other weapon do I have right now? A hammer. I have a hammer. I guess, I guess because it's multi-hit though, hammer is like pretty decent when you don't have multi available, like pretty decent, by pretty decent I mean kinda slightly below average, or maybe, maybe slightly average, I don't know, something like that, <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't even, it even makes sense that it is slightly average, but you know what I mean. Um. Yeah, so I've cleared up this area. Hopefully, I'm gonna get some meat cleaver here to use as a sub weapon. I'm gonna rest here. Meat cleaver, yes, that's what I wanted. Wasn't there a zombie on the direction? Did I just see things or... There's more meat cleavers, yes, that's what I wanted. They were full durability as well, yeah, this one too. There's a lot of meat cleavers, perfect. There's a ham. More meat cleavers, holy, yeah, that's, that's a lot of meat cleavers. Ham. 
I'm gonna just eat all of this one in charity because we have two hams. Where's the other ham here? We have two hams. We have three hams total. There's so many proteins. Um, can of oat. This is a lot of protein. Brown sugar for food. Uh, I'm not gonna take peanut butter. It says a lot of proteins. I think. Hot sauce. Butter. Margarine. Didn't take the butter. Take the butter. And remoulade. Okay. I'm gonna just check those crates real quick. Chips. Tortilla chips. Tortilla. I'm not gonna check the one in the corner. I could like... I could like take off uh, one of those crates and check the one in the corner over there, the ones, the two here and the one there, but I'm not gonna do that because um, they're most likely just some food and that's not really worth my time. Removing all those stuffs. Let's see, we are, we are kind of over encumbered, so I'm gonna put them inside the car before I continue. There's one more shop here. Um, where's my car so far? Okay, so here. Garbage bags. Skill. We are going to be strength level 4 soon, which is really nice. I think the weight increase to 11 as strength level 4, which should allow us to carry 2 more weight, not even 3, which is great. Uh, I'm going to put all the chips in here as well, the fruit jam. Nothing interesting in those zombies. I'm gonna put my car over there so it's easier to bring stuff over. I'm gonna bring it here. So this one and the one over there, I'm gonna loot them. Mm -hmm. I can enter this way. Broccoli seed packet? Sure. Uh, fill some water. Okay. That was useless. Let's see this medical shop here. I'm gonna check behind the store real quick to make sure that there's no zombie around. So I think there might be some. There's a lot of zombies around here. I'm gonna. Oh, there, there, there's three whole groups here. And there's a lot of zombies. Um. So always be careful when you're attacking with shovel. That you. In case you miss them, you're you gonna be ready to press space bar. Push them away. Oh. 
you don't always remember that those zombies, while the combat is like not exactly difficult, they can always kill you when you you don't expect it. Like they can always easily kill you with a single mistake from your part. So you need to be always careful. That's like the pretty much the more, most difficult part in Project Zomboid because you always have to be careful. Like just always have to be careful. Um, and I think. I think I wanna. I wanna rest before killing the ones below. And we got one more strength. Nice. Awesome. That didn't work. Okay. There's something banging on the door over there. I'm gonna throw this meat cleaver, put another one. Kill this zombie and rest on this chair. There's more zombies coming. What is this one? This is just a restroom. Can I pick up this thing? Oh, I can. Well, I'm gonna just rest like this. Wait. Rest. What? Rest. Can you not? Okay. That worked. And uh, I'm gonna go kill those zombies here. I actually didn't really need to kill those zombies, but I. Like, why not, I guess? Might as well since I'm here. Hmm, wait a second. I don't have a spare shovel, so I have to kill the rest of them with this meat cleaver. I'm gonna actually just go to my car and bring another shovel. That's better. That would be better. I'm gonna take this one here as well, in case this one breaks. I think I saw something green. No, okay. I thought I thought something green, so I thought it was a seed packet, but it was not. It was just like some green clothes. Um, this place is actually a place where you can sleep if you want to. Actually, not because this door is broken. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind that. I'm gonna take all of those. I'm gonna take as medical supplies in case, um, a stock of medical supplies in case I need them. I actually heard that the disinfectant and alcohol wipes are kinda useless because, um, the way the game currently works, the... Um, Disinfecting doesn't, um, being infected. Disinfectant actually removes the disinfected stages on your wounds, and being infected actually does nothing currently. It is supposed to slow down your healing speed, but it apparently doesn't for now. But yeah, I'm gonna still take that because it feels unpleasant to be infected, and uh, I don't expect the game to be staying that way for a long time, so. I'm just taking all those. And uh, how many beta pokers did I get? I got um 
five beta blockers total. I got like two beta blockers from this area, which is pretty small. It's less than I could have expected. And that's also the reason why I'm like always running here, because um, even if a zombie appears like that, I'm not gonna die to him if I'm running. Um, yeah, so yeah, apparently those disinfectants are useless. And broccoli seed packet. Should I eat this ham again? I'll eat this ham. I'm gonna get fat at this rate. No. Guess not. Do I have anything else? No, I just need to go and clear out this area. And uh, loot the surplus door. Maintenance level up. I wonder if it works like having a build with maintenance. Like since I'm using like all kinds of different weapons, I'm using long blunt, I'm using axes, I'm using short blade. I'm also willing to use short blood, but I'm probably not gonna be using it. And uh, I also use like spears and long blades. Long blades uh, are super strong, so I think anyone should be using long blades if they get one. But yeah, what I'm saying is that since I use like all kinds of different weapons, I don't feel like maintenance is necessary because I get enough weapons to do pretty much anything, even if at this amount of zombie population. But maybe if you have, um, if you're like focusing your build on only using one weapon, for example, if you're using X-Men, then you usually end up not having enough access to use, right? So having maintenance in that case would, should be useful, I guess. Um, what I'm gonna do right now actually is I'm gonna bring the car and I'm gonna carry the piano stool with me because we managed to get strength level 4 which means that we have two more carrying weight and we can use those two more carrying weight at carrying the piano stool with us and that we can rest wherever we want without needing a chair around. Riverside map. Um, I'm gonna also get out one more meat cleaver because I think mine is should be going out of durability soon enough. Take this one out as well. And there's no car here. This is interesting. It's kind of rare for there to be no car in this place. I think. And yeah, I can just get around here and kill all those zombies. My habit is usually to have like the light weapon on the belt right and a bit heavier weapon on the belt left which means um, I usually have like hand axes on the belt left or nice sticks on the belt left while I have short plays on the belt right. That's my habit. So when you have um, the pedestal here like this, you can kill the zombie, rest, and when it comes, you can kill the zombie, and then rest, and when the next one comes, you can kill the zombie, then rest. So this is why I carry around the piano stool. This is like really convenient to rest when the zombies keep coming like this. And like you can do this pretty much anywhere you're fighting. 
So when you feel like your stamina starts becoming an issue because you're fighting a lot, um, I recommend carrying.
So I took a small break and realized that my mic uh, was turned off at some point, like it was off for like an hour-ish. I don't think you missed that much. Uh, only tip I think I gave in between was that you need to use the tire pump to um, inflate the tire <laughs> if you are using a new tire because otherwise the tire just comes off. And well, that's pretty much it. Let's see, the gas can. I can leave the gas can here and. Dance cards. I have already read those, so I'm gonna put them here. We've uh, read those as well. So we're going to head over to the um, Rosewood's um, warehouse. And before then, we're going to manage our inventory a little bit. The reason why we chose that place was because we need... Um, it's a really close from here and we need to get the Wilder Mask to repair our car because our car is in a really bad condition right now. It does 26 hood and 35% trunk. The loud trunk means that I'm not gonna be able to carry much stuff. It only has 80 capacity when it's supposed to have 160 in the beginning. So yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Um, I'm going to take out more stuff so that I can have as much space as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave a crowbar just in case. But I'm gonna have everything else taken out. Actually, just um, just the meat cleavers taken taken out. I'm gonna put them here along with the. Actually, I'm gonna put them here. And uh, so we are bringing the metal orc to book because uh, we are probably going to find a wilder mask in the warehouse and we can just read it and practice the metal working. So, which means that we are going to need to take the propane tank as well, which is not great because. Because it's a lot of weight that we are gonna be bringing. We're gonna bring one propane torch and the propane tank. And we're gonna be clearing the area with a shotgun. So we are gonna have to bring the shotgun. Let's see. The shotgun. And we can. Yeah, get all those enhancements here. Let's see. Upgrade choke tube. And. I must drop or sling. I cannot. Yeah, I cannot put I must drop and sling at the same time, so I'm gonna put the sling in here. I don't I don't I don't remember what sling I must drop does, let's see. You probably faster reload. Can you minute? Fire armor reload time, yeah, it's uh, faster reload. So we put the I must drop. 
and we are gonna bring all the shotgun ammo we are gonna bring all of them because we're gonna shoot as many shotguns as possible over there and we're gonna get done with the shotgun so at 16 times population there is not that many places where you can actually shoot shotgun um and the rose road rosewoods um warehouse is one of them it's like one of the least populated places and I'm gonna put the rest in here. Yeah, I'm really heavy right now. Um, I think I'm gonna just attach it straight up. And my shovel's almost broken. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. Let's see. My bag is full from everything the meat cleaver i'm gonna put the meat cleaver here 11 shotgun shell boxes i'm gonna carry them yeah i'm a bit heavily encumbered but that's fine because i'm gonna be mostly shooting shotgun and when i'm shooting gun being encumbered doesn't really matter that much it matters a little bit but not that much so we're gonna head over there we're gonna avoid colliding against stuff this time and go to the Rosewood Warehouse to shoot shotguns to clear out the area. Let's see. So our reloading aiming is level 1. We didn't shoot a single time yet. Reloading has leveled up a little bit because I think it's from taking out the ammo maybe? Probably. Mm, if I remember correctly, We gotta avoid this because our food is in a really bad state, so we don't want to be crashing onto that one. We need to ride, drive on a slow speed. The good part about shooting shotgun early on is the fact that um, shooting guns actually increases strength XP as well, and the shotgun hits four targets, and that increases four times more strength XP because um, he's hitting each target increases the strength XP so this is gonna be a decent source of uh, XP here from uh, fighting so the Rosewood warehouse is really close from where we set the base that's uh, one of the reason why we chose to go there um, let me just check real quick okay cleared out those cars last time so we can easily get there I think is um, next time we gotta turn right I should probably check the map to be sure but okay actually let me check the map to be sure it'll be safer um Okay. Where is this? We are here and yes, it's the next time we gotta turn right. So I was right about that one. Um Yeah, being a bit over encumbered worries me, but it should be fine. Our food we have some food. Do we have enough drink? We don't have enough drink, so we are gonna have to finish this quickly so that we can drink afterwards. I should have like gotten more drinks before we came here to be honest. I kinda wanna remove this car. I think I'm actually gonna do that right now. Actually. I don't think I brought the... what's the name? There's nothing in here. Yeah, I don't think I brought the gas can, so I cannot do, I cannot remove this car. I can tow it, but... Um, let's see if it has a good window, because we don't have a... we still don't have a window, so that would be a good idea. It doesn't have a good window, but it has a window. I guess having a window is better than not having a window. Oh, 
Oh, it has a uh, fuel, so I can move it away. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna put the window in this car. It's like only 79% durability condition. So, we cannot really rely on it to block a lot of stops. But it's still better than nothing. So we have it here. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. So, this is the way to the warehouse east to the rosewood. It is like three different ro three different warehouses. Uh, I'm gonna kill this one. Because the police car might have the axe. I don't think it is in a good condition. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's in a rack. It has a key though. It has two axes, yes, that's uh, pretty good. I mean, one of them has like almost no durability, but it still can be used. I'm gonna put them inside the trunk here. Yeah, we should not drive too fast because that makes it harder to avoid obstacles. Let's see. This way. I'm not gonna check that car. I cannot move it away anyways. It's better to clear out this road because mm, this road can be used multiple times later to access different areas. But right now, I don't have the capacity to do that, so I'm gonna leave them alone. And where is the rose? Oh yeah, I think this is the entrance to the warehouse, and I don't know why this is lagging. Okay. We're managing to get there. So, there are a bunch of zombies. But this is like the one of the least populated like high loot places and one of the only places where I can actually shoot <coughs> shotgun to clear out the area okay so I can my shotgun so this is an office it's not a loading place like there's some stuff but not anything important a good thing about this building is you can go to the second floor set up a tent and sleep there in safety um, one, the looting building is this one this one you if you clear out the surrounding you are there there's a bunch of crates that you can loot and I'm gonna shoot the shotgun to gather all the zombies here so this is how you kill the shotgun so in the beginning it's gonna look at the aiming XP it's gonna increase quickly I shot twice So they're gathering, we need to be careful. There are a lot of zombies coming from everywhere. Okay, so the how the shooting works is when you aim, like you see the red contour um, around the around the zombies, it means that your accuracy is really low. And you need to be standing still for that to increase. So what you need to do is you gain distance by running a little, sit and shoot like this. And like when you stand still, it increases the color changes to green, and you shoot when it's green. 
and this should allow you to hit most of zombies. Um, so we are the is the problem right now is that we are pretty encumbered and that is making us lose a lot of stamina when you're running. So whenever we are doing this, like we our stamina is going down pretty quickly. So that's why we don't want to be too encumbered. But as we spend our ammo, we are going to be less and less encumbered. So that's going to be less of a problem. So aiming already became level two. So this goes really quickly the leveling um, process. The biggest problem with shooting firearm, except from the fact that it gathers all the zombie around because it's this uh, loud noise generation. I think the Shotgun noise reaches like 100 tiles away. One tile is like this tile. I think I'm gonna show you the tile. So when you walk to this is one tile. And 100 tiles away is pretty far and it's gonna just gather all the zombies from all the places from here. Um, and except from the fact that it is a loud noise and there is no noise suppressor, you can use a mod to use the noise suppressor but I think the firearms are balanced around being noisy so I don't think you should use it normally. The problem is that it's limited by ammo. So we picked up like 37 ammo boxes, which is a lot of ammo boxes. Uh, each ammo box is for shotgun contains I think 24 shells. So that's 720 ammo box, uh, 20 shells. Which sounds like a lot, but if we clear the entire Rosewood um, warehouse with them, we're gonna be out of it. I think we, we are, we're not gonna be able to clear the entire Rosewood um, warehouse with them. And that's the problem with um, firearms and shotgun. And that's also the reason why it's weaker in higher zombie population because if you're playing in the normal zombie population you can easily clear all this area and you can also clear other areas because you're gonna have spare ammo to, to spend. But here we aren't gonna be able to do that because we are not gonna have any spare ammo after killing all the zombies since there are so many. So yeah our playthrough is more gonna be focused on melee combat while well, we're still gonna be shooting from time to time. Um, here, I think when you're using firearm and you're over encumbered, your damage decreases. So you should use beta blockers. Since we have a lot of them, I think we're gonna use them. I don't think the debuff is as dramatic as in melee combat, and you need to drink like take like three, four kills to counteract all the panic generated from this number of zombies. He's, uh, uh, I think we need to take one more pill. Yeah, so that's uh, less efficient in terms of um, effect per pill, but I think it's still better to use the beta blockers if you have uh, them available. So I'm gonna take one more. Uh, I think we're getting good now. And um, yeah, we need to we need to pretty much like make sure that they're all gathered up because this is difficult to shoot when new zombies are constantly arriving on us. And but once they're like they're gonna stop arriving at some point because it only attracts aggro from 100 tiles away. So like after some point they're gonna stop gathering, and at that point it's gonna be a lot easier to kill. Uh, one thing we want to do when we're shooting with shotgun is trying to pile the corpses in the same location Like in a circle actually, we're gonna run around the same circle over and over so that the corpses are gonna be easier to loot at the end of the, the shooting fiesta My stamina kind of worries me because um, it's going down really quickly I think Oh, that's dangerous. I think I'm gonna um, drop the chair somewhere. I think that'd be for the best because um, our stamina is going down too quickly. So we can drop the chair like this to gain two weights. And we're not too encumbered now. So now we can run and it's not gonna consume as much stamina as before. And we can shoot now. So you gotta remember that JS2000 has 6 ammo, so after 6 shots you wanna reload. I was not paying attention so far. 
I think I shot three times, so I keep shooting. I shot five times. And also remember that after each shot, you gotta rack your gun, which it, the trick character does it automatically, but you just need to not cancel its animation rack. If you cancel, then you gotta rack it um, yourself. So this is what I do. So I shoot, I walk back a little, then I stand still to regain the gauge until the zombies are too close and I run away I shoot I repeat like this the new zombies are arriving a lot of new zombies are arriving it's still pretty difficult I think you wanna take another body beta blocker before the previous effect wears out because I think if the previous effect wears out you gotta take like four, wear, four beta blockers again but if you just refresh the previous effect then you can refresh with only one so it's for your best interest to refresh before the effect runs out I don't know if this is intended though because it's all a little bit strange to be honest and uh, I kinda hope there was a duration on <laughs> beta blocker so I can tell <laughs> when to refresh it but I mean I gotta just do it with uh, filling now uh, I can see where I am piling up the corpses because it's too dark so I'm just killing them in kind of a run random location right now eat something. I'm gonna eat this thing, the cereal. It is the Trace Mode special food. <laughs> Maybe it's, it might be a little bit cheating to have like a new food added in here like this, but I mean, food is pretty invented anyway, so it doesn't really matter, honestly. And the special zombie that doesn't die when it gets shot by the shotgun. Cool. I think I can shoot twice before running away. I'm thirsty. I knew it was going to happen. Um, being thirsty makes me uneasy. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to clear all the zombies before I need to drink come on stop the new zombies man stop the new zombies man okay Okay, more new zombies, that's cool. I just had to stop and there are more and more new zombies. That's great. Um, it's a little bit dark. It's fine. Oh, I don't have any. You should take about 20 ammo boxes to clear this horde in here. So, and there are like three different locations, but the next locations is gonna be easier to kill because I already killed half the zombies here. So I expect to run out of ammo in the next place, on the next uh, warehouse. The Rosewood warehouse is like three warehouses, and on the second one I think I'll run out of ammo. That's my expectations right now. And I think that the zombies stopped coming, so we can first shoot now. No, they're still coming. Aiming level 5 already almost. This is really quick. Like we already got like the same amount of experience as we got in Axe during the whole playthrough. From just shooting a little. And uh, when we finish finish the shooting frenzy, we're gonna be aiming level like 7-8. Probably 7. 
and uh, our bit of democracy back for out. Yeah, I think it's better to like remove the panic even if you're ranged because there's gonna be lots of situations where it's, my gun's not gonna one shot instead of one shotting. Oh shit, I didn't see that one because it was hiding behind this um, inventory shit. Oh, that's dangerous. I almost died there again. We killed a new body. And we need to hit more beta blockers. One more spine, maybe. There's a new zombie here again. There's more new zombie here. A special zombie that's the 1500 HP. And we need one more. Yeah, see, you gotta take four beta blockers to remove the panic completely. But if I refresh the effect, then I would only need to take one. So that's what I should be doing if possible. So we spent all the 70 bullets. We're gonna transfer like three bullet boxes and open them. You gotta be standing still when you open those bullet boxes so you run a little bit before opening them. And my thirst is at half, so I need to do something about that one. How many we're killing? I think we kill like two in average per shot. We're at one six six seven. Two hit and seventy four, so we kill seven in two hits. That's a lot of kills. We kill five in two hits. That's nice. Two point five per kill. Uh, we killed... how many did you kill? 85 6, we killed 6 We killed 6 again, I think uh, we killed like 3 in average per hit That's a lot of kills I thought it was like 2 in average, but it's like a picture of 3 in average Pretty awesome And if you look at the strength XP 3048. I only hit one target. And uh, I hit 5 targets full and it gave. Wait. 52. It gave 4 XP. So it's giving 4 XP each time I should. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, maybe there's like a new formula for a different formula for a range to attack. Strength gain. I have no clue. I'm not sure how it works. Okay, so thirst is really starting to worry me. Um hmm. I'm gonna clear them out a little bit more before I do something about it. Now I can shoot three. Like, see, like when once the new zombies start arriving, um, it becomes a lot easier to kill those zombies because we can just keep shooting. We can gain enough distance and keep like shoot like a lot of times. Like here, I can shoot it probably like five times. Until the new zombies arrive from the side, then I can, but I'm gonna take another bit of blocker before it expires. So the new zombies keep coming, but I'm killing them at a faster rate than they're coming in. So if I keep going, I should be able to clear them out eventually. The only problem is the thirst.
And since when once we got um the weight problem solved, the stamina recovered, even though we keep running from time to time. Uh look at all the new zombies, what they want. I think I'm gonna need to solve the thirst problem. Since I have to do it sooner or later, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna pull the zombies to the side while shooting normally. And we're gonna run to that building over there and uh, look for something to drink. We're gonna go here. Can I enter? No, I cannot enter from here. That's annoying. I can probably enter from here. There's no zombie here because I gathered all the zombies in 100 cells around me. I mean, it's not guaranteed that I get all, gathered every single one of them, but I must have gathered most of them. So yeah, I can drink now and fill the water bottle. I want to be quick because I don't want there to be zombies when I open this door. And uh, I am gonna go back out this side and get rid of the zombies again. Okay, so the zombies must have gone to around here and I have to gather them. Let's see. I'm gonna shout. Where are you? Come over here. Okay, they're here. Nice, nice, nice. Let's keep checking the kills. 1803. How many did you have in the beginning? Like 1 6th, right? 1 1600. So the, we need to gather the zombies again, so they're just coming from all directions. And uh, I'm gonna take another bit of water. There's still a lot of zombies over the fence, but they cannot come. They cannot hop over the fence, so they're sad. There's one zombie here, there's one zombie here. This area is so dark that I cannot see anything. I think it's gonna be morning time, so this problem should be solved pretty soon. We're gonna be able to see again. Let's see, how many bullets do we have? We need to get the new bullets. I should make like a bigger circle so I have more room to shoot. But actually, no, this is enough. Three, I shoot three times, run three times, reload, repeat.
I should be a level 3, level 5 soon, Amy, level 6. I'm shooting like only four. Actually, no, I did shoot all six rounds. Apparently, I cannot count up front of me. I think that's the problem here. I count. No, the blockers went out. I need to take like three pills. I think three should be enough now since the number should have decreased quite a bit. I guess the reason why. Um, not too many zombies gather from a shotgun on Rosewood Warehouse is from the fact that there are unpassable fences over there. to open the box but I failed. If I have any food, Okay, so this is the quizness. So sh shooting shotgun is not unlimited because at some point when you keep shooting shotgun, you're you have you're kind of forced to like run around the same place because if you go to a different place, no, I mean, okay, so at some point there's gonna be too many corpses and uh, staying around here is gonna give the quizness debuff. So this is the sickness, the corpse sickness, and if you stay here, it's gonna go up to nauseous, which is still fine. But the next tab, sick, is gonna have your HP decrease until you die. So which means that um, pretty much when you get nauseous, you 
better just to get out of this place and rest somewhere that is not near the corpses. So you either have to finish the zombies before that happens, or you can like stop, get close to zombie killing, and go somewhere to rest and come back later. And it's not like you can you can like stay away from the corpses while fighting because. You have to stay in pretty much the same area, otherwise you're gonna be attracting more and more zombies, which is, just makes it impossible to kill those zombies. But this is a limiting factor for for uh, zombie killing with, uh, with a shotgun, or with guns in general. Shotgun or rifle, I guess. Hands, hands guns are a little bit different. Hand guns. Okay, we got aiming level 6 now. Nice. You can see that we are getting the color is becoming green a lot faster than before is actually the aiming level. So we don't have to stay still as much as before to hit our targets, but we're gonna still stay still for a short moment. And since the number of zombies decreasing, you can see that um they're approaching me a lot more slowly. And I have more time to shoot this time. So this just uh, the killing process just accelerates. I thought it was gonna give me more strength experience than this, but apparently it doesn't give me that much. I have to correct my thought about this. That it does a great way of gaining strength, but this is like a decent way. I think it's giving me a fixed amount of strength per hit actually. Is it giving me 4 per hit? It's time to see. 51. Times. Yeah, I think it's just giving me 3, uh, 4 XP per hit, which is which is pretty decent if you are not playing with multi-hit. If you are playing with multi-hit like here, um, the melee combat gives you more XP because you can get multiple targets and get in that much more XP. And I wonder if I can finish them off by the time I finish those uh, bullet boxes, the four bullet boxes I just opened. As you can see, the special zombies are still absorbing a lot of my head, so they count like they count as like more than ten zombies. They're right there. But they, they also still die eventually because because the way the damage works in Project Zomboid, uh, you take more damage the more times you get hit. So eventually they're gonna either get one shot or when there's not many zombies left, I can hit them twice in a row and kill them instead. So there's not too much of an issue. The problem though is that I need to take a bit of blockers. I wonder how many bullets they just absorb. There must be a cap in the pen generation because I'm, I still need to take 4 beta blockers to remove my panic stages when it was also 4 when I had a lot less zombies in the beginning, a lot more zombies in the beginning so that means that like there is a cap in the panic generation and 4 beta blockers enough to remove the panic from any number of zombies. I think that's what it means. Uh, I think my sickness stages is gonna aggravate into Nozius pretty soon. I should be able to finish those off before it becomes sick, so it should be fine. It's still queasy.
there's still more new zombies coming. This is because they're like the zombies that um, mi migrate all the time and probably like once 100 miles away like the zombies are migrating inside my range and then they just get aggroed by the zombies sound. So it's bound to happen that the new zombies keep coming to me like this. There's a little bit too many for my taste of new zombies coming to me, but I'm still killing them faster than they get. They're probably. Probably. Wait, is, it, is this because it became day that they're getting? No, that's, that cannot be right. They should not be changed. They or night should not be changing like the sound radius. Maybe it's because of the rain. So I think the rain changes the sound perception range. Was it raining more heavily before? I don't remember. Why are there so many now? Can you not? Can you not? Can you not? Can you not? So how many have we killed now? 2200. We only killed like 600, so we need to still kill a lot of them. Um, I'm not sure why we are already queasy actually. Why are we already queasy? Is it normal? Did like one of the fences break or something? I don't think those fences could break, so I don't think that was the case. I think they stopped gathering now. Hmm. We are running. We gotta get some new bloods pretty soon. But that's not a problem, it's pretty easy to get some new bloods. We're getting drowsy, but that's fine as well. The drowsy doesn't decrease the range damage. The only problem with being drowsy is that it's gonna decrease our stamina generation. And well, it's still fine for now, but I think if we, until we get like super tired, it's fine. Once we get super tired, it's gonna be a little bit annoying because we gotta be careful about our stamina then. I have a feeling that I should have been able to kill all those zombies before I get the Nozius or Sickness debuff. Um, but I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be making that this time. Maybe this. My fault? My fault. Just keep coming non stop.
Let's eat something. Some chips. Some more chips. clear out this area before we get this to sick because if um, we have to retreat to rest then we got to um, take the car and go far away we might as well just go to our base to sleep a little bit and come back because our base is pretty close but if we manage to clear them out we can just sleep on the roof of the building next right next to us and that would make it a lot easier and save a lot of time but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do that uh, I'm out of bullets so I need to kill the demons I only have killed around 700 so far 700 with like 11 bullet boxes actually 14 bullet boxes right so that's 300 something bullets for 700 <laughs> hmm. like about 2.2 2 kills a little bit over 2 kills per bullet right now we're gonna take this many bullets this should be enough guys doing shooting there might have attra attracted the zombies this is not my usual place so that could have been a mistake maybe it's okay and uh, I need to look it up blockers I need, to for I need to stop forgetting to take better blockers because I'm just wasting way too many of them right now. At the same time, the fact that we're only killing like two per head is partly because of the fact that there are all those special zombies absorbing so many bullets in their faces. I hate those special zombies. Sick. He's gonna reach nausea pretty soon, I'm sure, but we should be able to finish them off before it becomes sick. Because I think the number is dwindling significantly right now. Or not. Or not.
so there should be a little bit more than one belt. Oh yeah, this is Nozius. This is the next stage. We should be able to kill him before it reaches the stage after. Because I don't think there's that many zombies left now. Um, if you're allowing yourself to use as a fire, this is a great combo to use with fire. So you shoot your shotgun and then you just use your fire to kill them. <laughs> so you gather all the zombies from a large area and the fire just does its job at killing them. It works extremely well in like a high zombie high population stuff. It might be still dangerous in 16 times because Wow, there are like five special zombies here on the front line. God damn. One dead. I need to keep an eye on this when I'm nauseous. So that if I get to the sixth stage, I have to run away right away. Rest in a zombie free area because otherwise I'm going to die. As soon as it gets to sick, I run away. But I mean, the best is to not get to the sick stage. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna finish killing them before I get to this stage. Sorry, XP. Oh, we're almost at level 7. Nice. Um, by the way, the, aim, the aiming XP increases really quickly, and that was the reason why in the beginning I didn't really pick aiming as trait. And um, I still feel like Hunter is uh, not a necessary trait because you, you still get to like aiming level 5 ish after doing all this with your shotgun and at level 5 it's still enough to use your pistol um but i mean i want to i want to see what happens at aiming level 10 and all that so i'm still using the hunter now and what allowed me to use hunter is the fact that i'm, I'm taking the weak crate to start at one strength There's uh, very few of them left, so we should be able to finish them off very soon and get out of this place and go sleep. Remove our noselessness. I really hate having noses because it's so scary. I have died multiple times before. The first time I got the fifth ever, before I knew it, and I just died, and I didn't un even understand what happened to me. The second time, I thought. As long as I didn't get fever, I was okay, so I was just sitting there with sick, and it killed me when I was sick. <sighs> oh yeah, the noses kills, and you learn from experience. I'm gonna take one more pillow blocker. I hope this is gonna drop some battle poker because I don't have many left because of this. Yeah, those special zombies are taking 1500 damage. I'm dying in one hit, which is nice. This number of enemies can be killed with uh, melee attacks now. But the problem is that I don't have um, 
I have a shovel that has like almost no durability right now. So it's not ideal for killing stuff. I think that's a pretty soon number. And also I'm like super tired right now, so I'm just shotgun. So I can shoot them twice in a row now because there are so few zombies left. And level 7, nice. Maybe I can reach level 8 with the remaining shells. from the corpses to not get my noses any worse and uh, kill them with melee attacks I don't know about this man. How many are you? They're they're all the special zombies because they they didn't die from taking so many bullets so they get they get crippled and now they are doing that. Um I'm gonna take the axe. The low durability axe. sleep for my conditions before I do anything else and the good place to sleep here is over here you go upstairs you go in the center you put down the tent you put up the tent and sleep here so we should be losing our tired and the curve sickness and we should be in the perfect condition to fight when we wake up Except from the fact that it's gonna be night again, so we're gonna be a night fighter once again. Which is fine. Um, take down tent. I might wanna use. Oh, what? Why are you here? It's as if they were waiting for me. Did they follow me? How did they follow me? How did they know that I was here? What? I'm confused. Can they see me from down there? It doesn't make sense that they can see me from down there. They are still coming. Are they reacting to the sound? I think they are still coming. Yes. I need to finish them off before I go down. There's still more. Yeah. 
now. How did they follow me here? I don't even know at this point. It's a mystery for me. Alright, I'm gonna take this. There was a better blocker among the corpses. Okay, so that's one. We used like three. Um, I am kind of scared to go downstairs now, but I think we don't need any more. Oh, shit, I'm scared. <laughs> hmm. I'm extremely confused right now. <laughs> Where are they coming from? Piano stool here, where is it? Oh, we put it down on the other place. Um, I'm gonna go here. There are chairs here. Recover my stamina, and my axe is almost broken, so I'm gonna need the other weapon. This office um, doesn't have that much, but it does have some repair materials if you look around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna still love this place. I can fill my water bottle and wash myself for once. I'm gonna just wash my face though. Actually, I'm gonna wash my body too. Wash my body. All right, I'm clean now. Look, I'm clean. I washed myself after like ten days. special here oh, those two are just restrooms this is bleach 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 cleaning room cleaning room usually doesn't have anything special even though those tools shed look like they would have a nice loot Okay, I'm gonna loot the corpses now. Desert Eagle pistol. Check the magazine. I can loot this one as well. Mm, load magazine. I. Desert Eagle. And I'm gonna repair this shotgun. Where's my shotgun? I repair it with the other shotgun.
So he's almost full condition again, so I can use this for the next fight. And I can put it back here. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this because if I don't pause this while I loot this area, um, I'm gonna be nauseous again by the time I finish looting because it takes so long and there are so many corpses around. Since we're gonna be leveling meta working soon enough, I'm gonna be collecting. Uh, what, what are you wearing right now? Hand guard. Hole. Two holes. This one is two holes, three holes. This one. Probably better. Yeah, so what I was saying, um, since I'm gonna be leveling meta working soon, I'm gonna collect some of those um, intertwined bait because that allows me to craft a skin bag. Which, which allows me to not see this um, skin, this bag's like straps and all that. I think the bag itself is like kind of worse in function, but since it's the skin bag, we're gonna use it. This mantle, 14 digital watches. Like this is like kind of free leveling for the electrical skill because there are so many of them. So we gotta stop packing. Okay. I'm gonna get her like 150. Oh, West Point map, finally. I think that was the only map that I was missing, except from Louisville. I still missing two pieces of Louisville, so that's something we're gonna keep working on. So what we need from the zombie, uh, some weapon, oh, carrot seed. This one, the um, hand guard with no hole if possible, and we're looking for beta blockers and vitamins. It'd be really great if you can get some vitamins and beta blockers from the zombies here. Louisville. I'm not gonna open the... Oh, this one has no hole. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the looting process might be a bit boring here. We have the painkiller, we don't care about painkiller, we're gonna, gonna take that and... Uh, it takes a while. I mean, I, I would actually use the looting mode if there's one. Actually, I don't know. A nice stick. We're getting so many nice sticks again. Check the magazine.
Um, I'm gonna get 200 of the Interwind Fade to be sure. I don't remember exactly how many I needed. I think 150 is more than enough, but just in case, I'm gonna get a little bit more since there's uh, so many of them here. Unfortunately, we're not finding any of the beta blockers. We're almost done with the interwind fate. Okay, so that's it. The interwind fades. So we're now gonna just uh, loot and uh, dismantle the thing. I think we'll be done with dismantling when we get to the next level in electronics. So then we're only going to have to loot, which is going to take less time. Maybe it's better to do this way. Let's see. I press B to open this. Electrical. There's nothing. I have to press B. Okay, so I can, I can do this. Yeah, I think this is easier. Then I loot by doing this. And um, yeah. A hunting knife. Yeah, this uh, shooting round is a good source of hunting knives. Oh, wait a second. Anything good here? Hmm. Yeah. So I have to. I have to reopen this thing anyway. I was wondering if there was any other way to do this, but it doesn't look like it. No good loot here. Oh no, I don't need to. Hunting knife here. I am full. I'm gonna put it here. I don't re I don't need to reopen it anymore. I don't know why. It was convenient for me, but I don't understand why it suddenly became more convenient for me. <laughs> we 
we should be getting to electronics next level pretty soon actually yeah i got the dismantle to a radio here as well something's coming Oh, it's because we have this one clicked. Wow, 12. That's a lot. I think I'm gonna level up here. Yes, I leveled up. So I'm gonna stop doing this because I don't have the bonus anymore. I'm gonna stop dismantling. I'm gonna just loot. Drop all this because I don't need it. Actually, I could be... I could use all a few of those, but whatever. They're used to uh, repair the generator, but I still don't have the generator magazine on how to use the generator, so I'm not gonna be using any generator for a while. Yeah, let alone repairing, so whatever. Nothing good here. Hunting knife. Another hunting knife. There is really not any beta blocker at all, which is annoying. We spend way too many beta blockers and we're not getting anything back. This sounds like not a great position to be. There is a stone hammer. What's wrong with it? There's a hiking bag. This guy is jacked. Like loaded. Louisville map. Okay. How many hunting knives am I getting? This is this is where I'm getting the infinite number of hunting knives. I'm never running out of them again. Hmm. A vitamin, finally one vitamin and it has like very few left.
All right. I want to stop reading Louisville maps, but I think I'm still missing a few pieces of the map. It's like the completionist problem. I <laughs> I want to just complete my map when I actually don't really need to do that. I'm just suffering from that. Uh, I think we've finished looting this place, so I'm gonna go away now. We didn't get any beta blocker. We got one from the zombie that we killed, not here. Um, so that's uh, not ideal. That's what I gotta say. It's not great. I'm gonna kill the zombies here. I'm gonna loot the warehouse over there. And before doing that, I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in this car. Oh, another hunting knife. There's so many hunting knives. Actually, this one has like no durability. I'm not gonna take it. Let's see. Nice sticks. I'm gonna put this one inside as well. I'm gonna put those. Uh, I'm gonna put this and this. Let's see, how does it tape, glue, tent kit, the shells. Battery kerosene pack. And some of the hunting knives. Okay, 7 out of 11, nice. So I can take another weapon now, I'm gonna pick up the other axe and bring it with me. I can take my chair <laughs> Electric Electrical level 2, it's so funny because electrical is usually the skill that people don't level up because it's unknown to level. But when you have this zombie, those corpses, like it's, it's super easy. Okay, I'm gonna make a big round and kill all the zombies around this area before looting the place. Another key. My collection of keys. How many do I have? Oh, lots of keys. First aid kit, electrician one. I can do this later. I'm gonna do one round first. I can get so many garbage bags there. I get the garbage bag. I'm gonna get the garbage bag because they're free. It's not. It's not always free. I gotta get it when I can. I actually didn't get a bourbon battle yet. I'm still using the wine bottle, wine bottle for the water. Yeah, there's nothing around because all of them have died to the shotgun. Let's see. We're still missing two pieces of maps. Even though we read so many of the Louisville maps, it's annoying. Well, I guess shit happens. I cannot open this door. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. I don't even care at this point. Okay, I'm gonna loot this building now. The sweet looting time. So this part is like the office where there's nothing special. 
And the real part is over here. We're gonna start here though. All the repair materials. Now, desi tape is like three. A desi tape for like one repair. And it's like the shitty one too. So, like, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm picking them up at this point. Old muffler and type standard. Not great. Pensite. Pensite is actually a decent weapon. I'm gonna pick up the pipe wrench. I don't know why I'm picking up pipe wrench. It's like the worst version of um, Night Watch, which I have like a million of. But in case I decide to level Sharp Blunt later on in like 10 years and. Not 10 years, probably in one year. And. Um, if I run out of the night watches, then I'm gonna use them. Okay, hand axe, yes. Not durability, but still pretty good. Box of nails. You can never have enough box of nails. One said, I disagree. And uh, I'm gonna drop this ones. And pick up those crates. You press R to cycle through the different objects. When you are putting down. So we need we need the thing. We need the, what's the name? We need the wilder mask. We need the wilder mask. Give me the wilder mask. You gotta that be here. Wilder mask and the sledgehammer. One on, one or the other. Um those here so I think we yeah, are we don't need to take off anything else more pipe branches give me the wilder mask give me the wilder mask Wilder mask, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. Middle shit, so I'm gonna take middle shit because now we're gonna be able to repair our car. Pretty soon. Okay, so I can start working on metalworking. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish looting, then go to the metalworking. Shovels. You get so many shovels, look at this. Axe. The best axe ever. Little shits. Garden fork, hell yeah. Crowbars. Crowbars are like for the collection. I think I'm gonna throw away the crowbar with no durability though. Uh, or not. Yes, no, yes, no, nah. I think I'm gonna keep it because. The crowbars are great for collection. We have too many middle shit. Maybe we got too many of them. Antique oven. The antique oven can be interesting to take. But we are not going to need it, and also I doubt that we are going to have space to carry the antique oven. Um, I, I might want to take it just in case. Actually, we really don't need it, but because um, lots of people actually need it. <laughs> so I might as well like bring it home to show that I have one. Like, not to feel like I have something good, you know, in my home because it's a valuable item. Okay. Mm. We're so heavy right now. Crowbars. We're not gonna be able to put everything in here. Are coming. I'm 
super heavy right now, so... Yeah, this is really dangerous. I don't want to be doing this. Because I'm too heavy. There's another axe here. Come on, those zombies, where are they coming from? I, I just wanna... Uh... More? I put them annoying and they're like, yeah, let's annoy you even more. This sounds fun. What is up here? Nothing special. I'm gonna wash my clothes. Mask. And fill the bottle. Continue looting. I'm gonna get more metal shits. Duct tape. Crowbar. I'm gonna loot this ones first. I'm gonna stop looting metal shits for now. I'm gonna loot them later. This place is dangerous because you can appear from right here. So I'm gonna move here instead and... Hand axe. Yeah, so many loot here. So many weapons that we can use. We can fight forever. This is why, like, if you if you don't have a car, like, even if there are so many weapons, you can only take, like, a few of them, right? So it's kind of, like, pointless to loot all those places. And the car is so important. Actually, if you're not playing in, like, so many zombie population, you don't need this many weapons. Like, one crowbar is gonna get you super far. In fact, when, yeah, when I first started, uh, I played in the normal difficulty and normal population and um, I just used crowbar. F crowbar was my favorite weapon because I didn't need anything else than crowbar. So that's probably gonna be the case when you first start as well, if you're first starting this game. 
crowbars great but yeah you only realize the greatness of uh, better weapons when you get more zombies to face more extreme situations I think I'm taking too many of those uh, seeds at this point, but I guess the seeds are not very heavy, so that's fine. Um, so what we need now? We need a sledgehammer. We need weapons and sledgehammer. Sledgehammer is gonna be the good loot that we can find in those places. So now we're gonna go to... We're gonna practice our metalworking now. We're gonna drop those stuffs here. Where's my wilder mask? And um, I'm gonna bring the propane tank and propane torch. This is gonna make us very heavy. get the wilder mask as well. Where's the wilder mask? I think it's a put it here actually. Yes. So now we can level up the metal working. Here this is a good place to level metal working because there are a lot of stuff that you can disassemble in here. Um a uh, nice place here I recommend is either you do those things you can disassemble you can disassemble all those stuffs or you can go over here um smash window remove broken glass you go over here and I think it's here there's like a changing room You can disassemble in the restroom as well because the restroom has all the all those toilets that you can disassemble. But let's loot this because we haven't been here yet. My favorite place is this one. Is there anyone inside? No. You can disassemble the shower too. So here you put all those down. And dissemble. I'm just gonna increase very quickly. Nine percent, almost ten with a uh, one. down everything from those and uh, disassemble at the same time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay 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 that's cool One already. It still gives uh, like 10 XP. Uh, I don't know how much this one gives. I think it, it does, doesn't give that much. 27. It gives like 5, so it gives half of the, the other ones. I can throw away the torch that has no propane in it and continue to disassemble here so I can disassemble all of those. I can fill the bottle before disassembling this one. 
I can speed up time because uh, I have keen hearing so if an enemy comes from behind I should be seeing it before it does anything bad to me how much does it give? it gives like 9 too so this one's as good as the locker yeah this one's great These ones are actually better than the lockers. <laughs> How about those ones? Okay, I got Metal Working Level 2. Now I gotta read the book to advance any further. So we're gonna go back to the place we slept last night. Why did I throw this away? We have the book with us, so we can just move. We're super heavy though, so, so that's the problem, and we don't have any space to put stuff in here. I think we're gonna drop the propane tank if we encounter any zombie over there. So here, I'm gonna do this. And oh yeah, I. I I have two tent kits on me, that's an... <laughs> yeah, you should have left one. Well... Where is it? I hear a sound. Coming from somewhere. Okay, we're good. Um, uh, these zombies are annoying because they're gonna give me curve sickness. So I'm gonna go all the way here. I'll read the book. I should be eating something. Uh, let's see. Chips. Alright, alright. So now we read this. sleepy I think we can finish reading it and then sleep and then we wake up we get to the level 3 and we clear our trunk so that we have more capacity and we go on another shooting around that's the plan One thing I'm kind of worried is, if I sleep here, uh, I'm not gonna hear if the zombies are banging on this door here. But I doubt that zombies are gonna suddenly start trying to come up here. So that should be fine. I am getting kind of cold. Gonna eat some chips. It's the metal working. I can get the level three soon. Ooh, the gunshot surprised me. Yeah. I'm gonna put it down just in case here. Yeah, I knew it. I don't, I don't know why those zombies are coming up here. Um, normally they're not really supposed to see me from up here. At least I don't think so. But apparently they do because he's just coming right here. 
like he's heading right towards my direction so I should be like waiting here until um, hunting knife slow Okay, there is no zombie around here. Uh, I'm gonna dismantle stuff. Can you can you come here? Can I kill you? Can you let me kill you? Do you mind dying for my sake, friend? Okay. So here has also a lot of uh, stuff symbols, so I can do that. I, I don't have a print torch. I guess, wait, do I not have any? Did I throw away all my paint torches? I feel like that's what happened. Did I really do that? Do I not have anything here? Oh yeah, I have one here. Perfect. Okay, so... I gotta grab this one, the propane tank. Where is it? Be careful because we cannot bump into zombies in our current state because we're too heavy. And now we can disassemble this thing. How many speed does it give? 20.38. 36. This gives a lot of XP too. Nice. Yeah, this is really nice for leveling up. Wait, I think we need to um, refill. Oh, did you really <laughs> just do that? Okay, that's fine. Well. Can I disassemble this chair? I cannot disassemble this chair. Um. Yeah. And I recharge my propane. How many do those ones give? I wonder. Let's try it. How much it gave you which we just leveled up i think it gave a lot though wait we can tell now 12 point like 18 i think the same as the other ones so we're on level three now which means that we can repair this car i'm gonna drop the propane tank the metal reading book and then kill them All right. Perfect. Um, yeah, the little 
shits. I'm gonna take out all the middle shits from its car. Uh, do I need a wrench to repair it? I don't remember. No, I don't need anything. I just need a propane to repair it. I need a more propane to repair it though. Like the repairing efficiency decreases each time you repair, so you once I get to a decent level, I should stop repairing. Like, it only increases by 4%, right? But the next time I repair, it's gonna be worse. So, I should start repairing now. And put all the stuff here. Well, I have a little bit too many metal sheets now. I guess I can I can put it in the house as long as we have enough space to bring them. I am not sure if we're gonna have the space though, but that's gonna work out. Okay. So is that taken care of? Uh, do we have a chair on us right now? Yeah, we have the chair on us. So we need water and then we can get to the shooting for the next place. Let's get the let's get the water first. I need food too. We're gonna take out from this the shotgun shells. Ten more rounds of shotgun shells. And the shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Uh we need some food, so we're gonna bring food jam and tortilla chips. Is that all the food I have? Do I have anything else? No, I don't think I have any other food right now. I might have brought a little bit too little food. Because we still need to Well I guess I guess like um training metal working took a long time. So the rest is gonna be relatively quick. So the next warehouse we have is the one over here. I think it's either this one or this one, but we're gonna shoot in between them so that we can clear both at once. I think there's another building over there, but that one's just uh, that one's just uh, an office that we don't really care about. Let's see. Yeah, it's that one. I think that's the, that's an office. Let me see. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna shoot over there. I'm gonna shoot here. We're gathering them up again. Uh, it should be there should be less zombie than the last location because of um, the corridor on this side is already cleared out. The same thing as last time. We don't want to be too over encumbered while we are doing this. I think this much is fine. We're 
going to get her them up nicely and try shooting them. Whenever we have the opportunity, we have the opportunity, so we're not shooting them. Actually, we can probably like loot those stuffs faster if we didn't use the shotgun and just like clear the right, clear the immediate surrounding of the building with a melee weapon. <laughs> because uh, this gathers like a lot of zombies compared to that method. But um, well, this this is one of the few opportunities we have to train aiming and the shotgun bullets, so we might as well do this. This is the, the same problem's going to remain anywhere we go. zombies gathering than I'm killing right now which I don't really like I cannot really be helped we have to wait until no more zombies coming to start like really killing them compared to the last time though there's uh they already like are slowing down on the waves and uh, we're killing them at a reasonable pace I just staggered like a group. Still not coming in two nine. So, including the last one, we killed about one thousand three hundred zombies we just shot so far. Is my favorite weapon, my favorite weapon still an axe? I think it's gonna become a shotgun by the end of this area.
favorite weapon became the shotgun now. like this <laughs> when uh, I can freely shoot them when there's no more zombies surviving because these are like typically they're like three four of them dying at once each time and I just like really kill them. Oh I'll bet that block right Herbs there. number of enemies to kill is like really the, the reasonable amount, the good amount of enemies and uh, I think this much is like what you're gonna get when you shoot fire on in like a normal number of zombies so that's like pretty much optimal Special zombies, they're not dying after taking 555 damage. Annoying special zombies from the research of small. I cannot even remove. How I many I have left? 18. I think I can spend the point I have right now then. Or something. I can... hmm. Yeah, there is the road. I probably don't even need to finish my bullets. I'm gonna go around and finish the rest with the next. Oh, there are more enemies. 
Is those special zombies here? This trail that I can have them as a bit of a problem. Alright, hold on. Um, I need to rest a little bit. So, yeah, I'm gonna take out my piano stool and rest. Yeah, that was uh, really chill. It, it took like a lot less uh, shots than I thought. I think it only took like seven bullet boxes. I still have five. That was really cool. I'm gonna just sit down on the ground. I guess at the same time for the double resting effect. I can speed up time a little bit. It's usually dangerous to speed time while you're on sitting on the floor, but that one was fine. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get like 100 more into Wind Fate because uh, the reason for that is because I'm gonna need winter clothes. I had uh, I was like slightly cold last night when I was out there reading. It's when I realized that I'm gonna need winter clothing at some point, so I'm gonna pick up some warmer skin later on to wear on top of what I have. So, like, since uh, there are lots of curses here, might as well pick up the Interwind Fate right now, and then we can use them whenever we want to to pick up more clothes. We're reading so many of those uh, Louisville map, but we are not filling the last two piece of, uh, pieces of map. It's pretty annoying. How many do we have? 35. I think there was a beta blocker somewhere around here, so we're gonna pay attention to that one. Oh, vitamin, nice. two more okay so that's it let's just look for that now Where's my beta blocker? It must be around here. I'm pretty sure it must be around here. A hunting knife.
Let's find it. I need like a pet <laughs> that can um, grab me what I want, the item I want. Pet, grab me the beta blockers, grab me the vitamins, and then the pet just goes and fetches them from the corpses. That'd be awesome. Oh, another vitamin, nice. I, we have a lot of vitamin now, I think we can go on for a few days without sleeping. Um, wait, what did I just do? I just wore a Louisville map. No, I think I, I wore this one. Okay. And then where did the Louisville map go? It's here. Hmm. March Ridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Vitamins. Awesomeness. Oh, this gun, I hope it had a little bit more durability because I would have used it. But I'm gonna be able to find a better one anyway. So I'm not gonna take it with slow durability. Nothing good here. I sometimes have the feeling that when you kill with a shotgun, it has a last loot, but that cannot be true. I'm just uh, not finding any battle blocker. I think I, I'm pretty sure I had one. I saw one while I was fighting, but I cannot find it anymore. That's pretty tragic. It's like it's like the worst feeling when you know that there's one. Oh yeah, maybe it was this one. Let's say that it was this one, so I don't feel bad about it. A hammer. Got a hammer here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's good. Alright, let's say that... Um, this is it for this place. I'm gonna drop stops in my car and loot those two warehouses and uh, check the office under Ness later on. Oh, oh yeah, I need to repair this shotgun. Wait, do I have any shotgun over there? I don't think I found any shotgun among the... This is annoying because the thing is that uh, I have one more area to clear and I would like to use this shotgun to clear but if I do then I'm probably gonna run out of durability in the middle and if that happens then that's really bad because I'm gonna have a lot of zombies following me with uh, no durability on my shotgun. That would not be ideal at all. can throw this away, we put this in here, we put this here. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this pill. I'm gonna start taking the vitamin pills, in fact. Right. 
let's see this place there's a zombie over there what is behind here there's uh, nothing special there's a car a taxi there's nothing in here so useless oh duct tape not useless An almost useless but not actually useless one so that's good kill this guy Okay, let's uh, loot all the- I'm gonna pick up a couple bucks of screws. I'm not gonna pick up as many of the, of the nails, because I don't really know where I need the screws. I know that I can repair the car with a screw instead of um, propane, but that's like a lot less efficient. It repairs like a lot less with the same amount of metal shit, so like there's no reason to do it when I have enough propanes. <laughs> I guess when you don't have propane anymore, you have a reason to do it. I guess propane is a pretty limited resource, but you don't you don't you don't normally repair your car that much, or maybe you're using your propane for barbecue. If you use up all the propane in the map, it's probably what's happening. Okay, so yeah, there was the one crowbar. Hope you repair materials. That's not amazing, but we have more coming. Look at this uh, hands. Oh shit! What are they doing? Look at this hand cycle. It's sick. Hand cycle is like one of those fake um, short play because it attacks multiple targets. Or I think it. I think it's um durability. Reduction doesn't work on this because the bladed, the short bladed, long bladed weapons have a particularity that they have twice the stamina consumption than normal. But I think the um, meat cleaver is like a big short blade weapon because it doesn't have that half stamina consumption. I think all the weapon, all the short blade weapons, that doesn't have the Joe stack work that way. And same goes for the hand cycle. The hand cycle actually has like 0.5 weight. <laughs> so it has pretty much no stamina consumption anyway, regardless of um, being halved or not. Let me see, actually. Does it really have um, 0.5? Yeah, 0.5. So yeah, that's a uh, pretty cool weapon. It also works pretty well with multi-hit because it hits two targets. The only problem is that it has a really bad durability <laughs> and... Uh, and uh, it is pretty rare as well, so you only get to use it a few times. Can I repair it? Let's see. If we can repair... Potentially repair 65% with a wood glue. Maybe it's worth repairing once with wood glue. No. Maybe. Per perhaps. Nah, I don't think it's worth because... I mean, I mean... I mean, it has such a shitty durability. Whoa, it's so dark. I don't like this place. What are you doing, man? Yeah, this is why you always want to be have the habit of walking back when you open a door because that can happen. There, there can be a lot of zombies inside when you open the door, and if you're walking back, then you're not gonna die to them. But if you're not, then. I really feel like I should not be looting around this place when it's so dark around here. Especially when I could be looting the... Um, I could be looting the warehouse instead and by the time I finish looting the warehouse the sun is gonna rise so I can loot this place safely when the sun is up. I'm gonna just finish looting this one and then go to looting the warehouse. So this is the office area and the one over there is the over warehouse area. This one is the warehouse area. I'm gonna loot this one first. Well this place is pretty dark too though, but I mean 
doesn't matter too much. Propane torch. I'm gonna replace the the other one with this propane torch. Uh, why are there so many of them piled up at the same location here? This is gonna be annoying to loot. How do I deal with this? Okay. Well, we picked up like a little bit too many seeds, so we're not gonna be able to plant them all. And I mean, like, it's not—it's never our goal to plant all the seeds we get <laughs> to begin with. Normally, like, I don't know. Maybe sometimes I, I give off the feeling that I'm trying to plant every single seed that I'm getting, but that has not been my goal. To admit the truth. Oh, uh, what day is it? 18 day. I think the helicopter, first helicopter event happened like at the day, at the day 10. So the next one should be happening any time now. Which is a bad, which is uh, bad news. Yeah, which is a bad news. The shovel and the rope. Another antique oven. Maybe I should bring this antique oven over. I think I can. I think I can now bring the antique oven. So I'll probably do that. So we check this place. I think we checked everything, right? I think. I think we checked everything. Pretty sure. No. Yeah, I think we are good. We're good. We are good in this area. Oven. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, so this one you can equip per primary. It's 40 encumbrance. Oh, I cannot equip primary. So I can drop the hiking bag and equip primary. So it only costs 19 instead of like 40 something. And uh, then I can equip the hiking bag now. And now I can go there. Um, there's no zombie around, that's good. I'm gonna drop the loot inside the car. Propane torch, I gotta drop, I gotta remove the propane torch, the old one, this one. Lots of shovels. Next to us, 
I'm going to take them, loot all, and drop our antique oven here. And put those inside the trunk. Now we have an antique oven to carry over. Tortilla chips. This is the last food I have. This is annoying. I need I need some more food because I have one more warehouse to loot. Or maybe I will be just uh, starving when I get back home. Where's my food? The food is abundant in this game, but I just it's just bad management here because I left them at home. Oh, there, I, there must be food here. Hey, man. Hey, perfect. I, we got food here. There's two little stops, which is probably enough to get us going until we finish this area. Let me use axe to kill them. Wire, box of nail and duct tape. Our collection of box of nails is increasing rapidly. This is the second floor where we, where we can take a nap. Uh, we're not gonna take a nap though. We're just gonna go keep going. Hello. I don't see anything here. So next is the office over here. Oh yeah, this is like the worst weather to be shooting guns. Because we really don't see anything. Oh, I think that was one of the pieces that I was missing. Oh, I got all the Louisville maps. Nice. I don't need to pick them up anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I think I should take a nap then, because uh, because this weather is so shitty. Uh, I'm gonna loot this office and then take a nap before shooting in the last area. We got a little bit of food to keep us going for a little bit further, so we can afford to sleep right now. Pretty, pretty strong. How fast I'm killing. Probably because it's the next though. X is always fast at killing stuff because they do a lot of damage. To be honest, if you're playing this game, you can skip this part, uh, this building entirely. I'm here to show you that this building is useless, and all you get is a few of tapes that gives you like 10% durability on your mesh later. 10% durability on your mesh if you're lucky. And well, yeah, that's it. Actually, it's more than 10% durability on mesh Especially if you use the trick to repair the counter repair counter machine with a spear. I think it's way more than that.
the set. That's all this place has to offer. Do I have my tent on me? No, I don't. So I need to go to my car, bring the tent, and go to the building and take a nap until all this fog disappears because this fog is so shitty. I hate this fog. I don't see anything in front of me. I'm just running into like something and that something could be a zombie that kills me and it would be annoying. That would be the end of me. Um, so where's my car? <laughs> He's here. I'm gonna drive it a little bit closer. <coughs> to my location. <coughs> so I <coughs> hope that the looting round proved you that the office building was useless and that only the warehouse buildings are worth looting. I do hope very well. Okay, so it's here. I'm gonna close this door so zombies cannot get in here. I'm gonna go up and there's another door so zombies cannot get here. And I put up the tent here and sleep. I'm gonna be okay, right? I slept for like three seconds. I guess I was not very tired. I guess I was not very tired. Oh man, I, I do I really have to fight in this shitty weather? Come on, man. I, I really hate the fog in this game. I don't wanna fight in this weather. Um, so shooting gun in this weather is like the worst thing to do because that gathers a lot of zombies and a lot of zombies come from somewhere and when you're shooting guns you want to make sure that you have a path you have a path to walk to in the middle of the 5000 zombies that are coming to you and this fog is gonna prevent you from seeing that one so I really don't want to be shooting my shotgun on the last area but I kind of have nothing else to do. I don't have a book to read. I just am here. Um, and uh, I think I'm gonna just kill them with melee attacks at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna just go slowly over there and clear with melee. And if the fog clears out, I'm gonna use my shotgun. But otherwise, I'm gonna just be using my melee attack to clear the area. Uh, I need to just check where I am. So I am here right now. I think, I think I need to go this way. This way. I'm not too sure where I have to go. And I cannot see anything. Uh, yeah. So I don't know where I'm going, and I cannot see anything. So this is cool. This is what you call the best case ever for your survival. You have the highest chance of surviving in this kind of situation when you cannot see anything. Wait, I just uh, crashed into that one. It's here. It's the house that we looted, so I, we are going this way. And yeah, this is really nice. car over here. There's two police car over here. There's no zombie. They're like the um, twins with mine mixed three. I cannot move this car because I don't have the um, 
as I can. Actually, I had one of the big cars earlier where I could take the where I could take the uh, window. But I forgot taking the window. Uh, I'm not sure where it. I think it's this way. There's zombies here, so I'm gonna kill them. Oh yeah, I, I'm starting to see stuff now. The, yeah, fog is getting cleared out, so I can just shotgun now. I'm gonna do the last shotgun round here and clear out some zombies. Ooh. <laughs> Challenge. Stab her from the back. All right. So the same as last time, we put axe here, can still here. We take out. Oh yeah, yeah. We had a we had a problem that um one two three four five. Our shotgun didn't have enough durability. Um, we're gonna. I think we're gonna shoot until our shotgun gives out. Where's my shotgun here? Shotgun. I'm gonna eat those fresh food that it pe I, that I picked up earlier. I'm gonna eat both of them. And uh, here the warehouses are. I think this is a car center. Actually, I'm not sure what it is. But this this building. I think this. Yeah, I think this is a car center. And uh, another building over there. So I'm gonna just shoot it here. To be the perfect location. For me. I only hit one. And where's my metal blockers? Take pills. So a bunch of them are coming from this direction. Those from the up there and the left side are should be all dead, so there should not be that many zombies coming in our way compared to the two other ones. So this one should be relatively easy to kill. It can be more difficult to kill because we are gonna our shotgun is gonna die in the middle of the fight then we have to kill with a normal way and that's gonna be suffering that's gonna be suffering maybe I can find the zombie that has his shotgun on his back while I'm killing those so I can pick it up like this one this zombie has a shotgun in his back, can I kill it? I can. I probably can kill it by the time uh, my shotgun dies. Okay, 
get rid of all the zombies. Let them come to me. My stamina is going down rapidly. Uh, because of the fairly heavy load. Is it because of it? Or was it low from the beginning? I think it was low from the beginning. They probably didn't run that there. In this case, um, the stamina should be recovered by the time we finish fighting here. There should be nothing to worry about. Yeah, the zombies already stopped coming, so this area is pretty easy. Unless I decided to, I decide to be greedy and die. That would not be easy. You're at the greatest position ever. How many? 30? I should I should avoid something like that because I can I can get I can trip from doing something like that. <laughs> I can actually trip. It is rare, but it's possible. So I should avoid doing that. It is really tempting though. This, song, this thing. Well, I did. I think it was okay because I managed to not fly to the Five hits. Maybe I'm gonna have enough bullet to shoot in the rail yard as well at this rate.
19 days in. Rosie. Did I wake up to like a um, zombie bang, zombie bang yes, or something? Is that why I'm crazy? Well, my stamina didn't recover that much. I guess the fight didn't last long. should be enough and I should be able to kill them um, I actually am not liking this too much Not great what's happening right now. And uh, we are at exhaustion for some reason. This is. This is. Uh, this is probably a wrong decision to try to kill them with the knife when I could have just kept shooting it. I mean, I, I could still keep shooting them. That's why I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. So keep shooting. my my chair and then look around to see if there's anything 
and if there's nothing I can sit on the ground and rest the double rest effect amazing and I can even speed up time at the same time to get rested in no time okay let's uh, loot those corpses I think those are the corpses I've already looted Hunting knife. A magnum and a nice pig. Another hunting knife. We have so many hunting knives, like uh, we can fight forever with hunting knives now. Awesome. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing here again. Well, I guess this was not that many enemies here, so we can expect to not have any good loot except from a bunch of hunting knives. Oh, what is this pool up here? Revolver. Good. Mm -hmm. A meat cleaver. I just saw a meat cleaver. Where is it? Meat cleaver. A hunting knife. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna get. Alright. Uh, I think there was one with a shotgun, but I don't know where it it is I'm yeah I'm not sure what happened with the shotgun guy uh, I just missed it most likely mm, which is okay which is okay that happens that tree so many hunting knives I'm gonna take those vitamin pills to last until we go back home. The trunk was locked. So we unlock it and then we check. Uh, I think the sewing kit. Yeah, needle. I don't have a needle yet, so I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, so this is the car center. Uh, maybe we are gonna ab be able to find muffler. We need a performance heavy muffler.
performance type standard regular type heavy duty we don't need tires right now we got a bunch of regular brake heavy duty um that can be interesting car battery type sports do i do i bring a brake i could i could take a brake it's only three encumbrance i'm gonna take it Wait, crowbar first. I think I saw a performance muffler type standard. Type standard. I can actually use that one because I can I can I can bring the standard muffler a uh, standard car to where it counts. But nah. I'm not gonna do that. Nothing good here. We're collecting the batteries. box mm -hmm. what is this place I don't want to go in there <laughs> that, so that looks so dark and um, and uh, smells of death I don't like it I think that's the restroom so it's useless and dangerous useless and dangerous the worst combination ever. There's a tool shed over there. I'm gonna check the tool shed. What are you doing? Sneaking from behind. And uh, since I'm pretty sure it's not open, let's make the door open. Box of nails. Let's get the hand torch battery. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sleepy again. I need to take more vitamins. Is there a heavy duty car on one of those? Nope, there's none. I think that one should be just the uh, lumber. We're not gonna go there. I think this one is the last one we're gonna check in this area. Um, let me check the map to be sure. Yes, this is the last one we're checking. So let's first see if there's any zombie on this side. No, there's none, so I'm gonna enter. Uh, this place is relatively empty. Maybe it was not worth coming all the way to the right side of the Rosewood warehouses. I'm gonna kill them all before I proceed on looting. Scared. By shouting, I gathered all the zombies on the other side and I killed them. Perfect. I'm gonna shoot. 
shot five times more, five times more. And I think the whole area is cleared now. Let's see. Nothing special. There is nothing here. I think this is outside as well, so there is nothing. Hunting knife. An infinite supply of hunting knives. What about this one? Place is useless. Completely useless. One of those take. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, this house is so useless. <laughs> this house is useless. That one's uh that one's fine. There's like just a normal car center and you might be able to get something good from a car center, so it's worth going there. But this one was not. Um, let's see. I can go back home now because I think the vitamins effect is wearing out soon. I mean, I'm getting tired soon enough and I gotta drink more vitamins. And um, I have uh, finished exploring this whole warehouse. Down there, there's diner. That's um, the exit of this warehouse area I'm gonna just before going I'm gonna take off the window from the car and attach to mine because I've always wanted a new window might as well check those cars Is this a sports car? I cannot even tell the difference at this point. Which one is sports? Okay, 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 we got the window. We got the window. And we attach to this one. Nine percent. And we got a car with a better window. Awesome. I have this uh, break. I wonder where I can put it. All my brakes are in good condition. I think I'm gonna just leave it at home. I don't like there is no word like replacing it. Moreover, I think this was like the regular brake, although all those ones are like the performance ones, so current brakes are the better ones. Look at this performance of my brake. Alright, I'm going back home. Use all the loot. All the great loots. We must have a lot of shovels. I need to count my shovels.
I have nothing on my side suit. So I had actually no no no. On my side is as well, anti go never mind. I said nothing. Is, is that a shot? Yeah, if I move those cars away when I came, then it would be more it would be like easier to get out of this place. But now it's more difficult. But this way, I should be carrying um, one of the gas tanks with me, gas cans. I'm sleepy. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop after I reach home and tomorrow I think I'll be going to the rail yard first because we need, we need, we still need the sledgehammer and the trailer. I think, I mean, the trailer is the most important one, well, sledgehammer is also pretty important. So I'll be going to rail yard, which is far away and far away means that we have more drive to do, driving to do, and while driving we have more chance of finding a trailer or a sledgehammer. And also the um, rail yard itself can contain sledgehammers, so we're definitely getting there um, to try to find one. If we don't find anything, I think we will be going to the McCoy next. If we do find both of them, I think we are going to the riverside. Either Riverside or Akron. I think Riverside though. I'm thinking Riverside. So we are now at 4 strengths, 4.5. We got almost level 8 in aiming. We are Our aiming increased so quickly. Uh, I think it's... Uh, our home is here, right? Pretty sure. And we managed to get our middle working to level 3 to repair our car. Our electrical skill increased for no reason. Also, we gotta be careful because the helicopter event should be happening soon. And I'll be. If I admit the helicopter event, I think most likely I'm gonna admit it when I'm in the rail yard and I'm gonna be just. Uh, I'm gonna be just using Molotov of cocktail on them because. That place is not that populated, so it's fine to just use mode cocktail even in 16 times population. Uh, just gotta make sure that I have one mold type cocktail on me, which I don't. So I'm gonna just uh, check that before I go. Um, uh, cocktail. Yeah, I have two of them here, so I'm gonna carry one with me. Let's see. Today's harvest. We got six shovels. Six shovels. Do we have any gardening hoe? We have one gardening hoe and no snow shovel. I think including the shovels here, we have yeah, snow shovel. So seven shovel and one gardening hoe. That's not that many. That's not enough shovel, but they can last for a while. We can check the traps and take the worm and add bait. Not here. So what kind of worm birds are they? Butcher. Twenty six. This can fix my hunger. So those things are growing nicely. Uh, tomorrow we are gonna plant some new crops because we got a lot of those. And uh, we'll be 
organizing our stuff inside the crates and uh, cook the bird eat the bird watch myself and yeah do all that and then we are gonna to, going to live to the rail yard very hungry really hungry I'm gonna cook the bird and eat it before I go turn on so one tip when you're cooking so I'm here washing myself doing something else and if you look at the cooking XP when the cooking XP increases that's when the cooking is done so 2332 two. when this one changes that's when I gotta go back to collect my bird while washing myself here like right now it changed so I go back to collect my bird and yeah that's it and we can eat both of them. 34. I yeah, I eat both of them. And uh, that's gonna be. I'm not gonna be hungry anymore. Once those crops grow, like. It is gonna be the infinite source of food. For now, we're gonna leave off those food. We're gonna bring some more the royal, royal yard when we leave there and uh, hopefully we are going to manage to find a trailer and a sledgehammer so yeah thank you for watching and uh, see you next time